Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on guys? Matt and Sardi and I wanted to shoot a quick video just kind of walking you through the triple arrow system. Um, some trades just from last week. Uh, this system can actually be used on any time frame. Um, but it's April 12th. It's actually Easter. Happy Easter, everybody out there. Obviously, that celebrates it. I uh, wish you guys all the best during all this trying times. I'm just trying to stay positive, obviously focus on trading. And um, yeah, with that being said, so I figured I'll jump on the hour time frame. We'll go through a couple pairs. I'll show you exactly uh, one of the best strategies I think to trade this system is. Um, and it's not really just getting it right in when the triple arrows uh, populate. It's actually waiting for a certain point. I'm going to show you that point. So I'll show you where to enter, um, where you could dr drastically reduce your risk and increase your reward. Um, it's actually really simple. Uh, so let me just kind of scan through some pairs. If you guys have any comments, um, let me know. But if you get some value out of this, um, be sure to, if you're seeing it on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe because I'm always posting um, strategies that are working right now. Uh, market's ever changing, uh, but these strategies are working really well. Uh, and if you want to get the triple arrow system, I'll put, I'll drop a link in the description um, of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you're in my Facebook uh, Facebook group, it's in the pin video. I might actually throw it in here as well. But if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. And if you guys are watching on YouTube, right before I get into this, um, I'll drop a link to a free Facebook group. There's over almost 2,000 people in that group right now. Um, always updating it with content. So you can join there for free as well. Ask me any questions you have. Uh, without being further ado, let's just jump right into it. Uh, I want to keep this video short, sweet, and really just show you how successful these trades can be. So let's just start up top. Again, we're on the one hour. This is EJ. Got the triple arrows here. So all you look for, guys, so you see the triple arrows, boom, right? Now you could get in here. The triple arrow, though, is going to shoot you down. Look, it's going to fire on this one. So if you enter right away, I mean, you're literally in drawdown right now. So what you want to do is once these triple arrows populate, you go back to the big arrow. You look for the last push. If the big arrow is down, you're looking for the last push up, which is actually the candle to the left. Then you just draw a zone around that candle. That's your entry zone. Okay, so you got the triple arrows confirming a potential reversal. Now you want to wait until price pulls back into that zone. You almost had it here, but you easily had it here, right? You could have got in. Now you could set pending orders or you could just watch the market. You know, some trades you're going to miss, some trades you're going to get, but watch. If you got, let's just say you got it down here, put your stop here. You got 30 pip stop, 31, 32 pips, whatever, depending on your spread. And you could easily get, you know, this is going right into Friday, so I would have got out. But you could easily get a one-to-one, -one, right? Easily get 20, 30, almost 40 pips right there. But you see how that drastically reduces your risk, increases your reward. So let's keep going. Um, got the triple arrows again. This is Friday. I won't even mess with it. And it was a bank holiday, so you just got to be careful about that. Um, that being said, Monday is also a bank holiday for a lot of pairs. But let me just show you. So you got the triple arrows. So this is all I'm doing. You see the triple arrows here, boom. You go to the last, in this case, the triple arrow is pointing up. So we're looking for the last push down candle, which is this big one right here. This is the banker candle, right? It's grabbing everybody's stop losses. People had their stop losses here. So it's grabbing them, right? It's grabbing that money, it's grabbing the liquidity, it's pushing down. Now price shoots up, triggers the triple arrows. Price has to come back into this candle. That's a big candle, so it could come back to the base right here. It could come back to the 50 right here. This is also another good entry, that 50 point. But look, boom, price came back into it. Grab 20 pips again on a Friday going into a bank holiday. So that would have been phenomenal uh, just to grab 20 pips real quick. Um, here's one that's a potential for next week, guys. Um, you just have to be careful, obviously, how the market opens. I actually never trade on Sundays, um, especially with it being Easter and tomorrow's a bank holiday for a lot of pairs. Um, but you got the triple arrows. So we go to the last push down, which is this one right here. Right? It kind of broke. It's like 
in this level. I'd like to see price come up here and then come back. Test it. Here's a good one. Triple arrows. This one actually never came back. So I'm going to show you. This is the last push down was right around there somewhere. Triple arrows. It just went off, right? Never pulled back. So you're not going to get every single trade. But we got a setup happening. So we got the big arrow. We just got to wait for the triple arrows, right, guys? Uh, again, triple arrows, but right into the weekend. Let me see what else I got. So triple arrows, this is another one that price never pulled back. So you got the triple arrows. You got the last push down. So it never came back. Triple arrows, last push up. Came back, look, it flagged into that zone. Could have grabbed 20 pips on a Friday bank holiday. Stellar, let me see, go, let me go back real quick. Is there a, oh, there was, I was looking to see if there was a triple arrow there. What else we got? No triple arrows. Gold is a good one here. Let me show you this. This was a little bit, this was actually, I guess, two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. So last push down, can you got the triple arrows. Last push down. See? Triple arrow. Last push down. Wait for the pullback into that zone. These are your entries, right? Boom. 1100 I mean, almost 1000 or whatever. I don't really trade gold. Was it almost 10000 I don't trade gold. Uh, just stick to just regular pairs. But it works on anything. Let's go through a couple more. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, There's another one that just kind of pulled away. Dun, dun. Just trying to just scan in some pairs, looking. Triple arrows came in. It never pulled back. These pairs just took off. Right? You could have got in this one, actually. Because the triple arrow was that one. It almost pulled back. It was right there. I would, you could have just taken it. I mean, you're talking 20, 30 pips. But you see how easy that is? And the beauty about this is it's very beginner friendly. So if you guys are brand new to trading, looking for a, you know, a simple strategy, all I would suggest for risk management starting out, um, I mean, you could even do one-to-one. -one. Uh, the win rate on these things are pretty solid. I'd say it's around 80%. Um, it may be actually higher than that on a one-to-one. -one. And what I mean by that, if you guys are brand new, let's just say, let's go back to that, go back to this trade. Was it this trade? Which trade was it? No, it was this trade. Okay. So one to one. So if you took this trade right here, let's just say you got it up there. If you came down here, that's 57 pips. You're just going for 57 pips. So you would have got it right there. You know, a couple hours later, was that seven hours later? Two to one. Uh, you'd be at what? 120-ish. Somewhere in there. 110, 120. Two to one. I mean, it went all the way up here. But don't be greedy. Don't try to get these long moves. If you if you want to put a runner on, I would just stick with one to one and two to one. Get your profits. Get out of the market. Wait for the next setup. That's the best bet. Here's one. Check this out. So you got the triple arrows. The last push up. You could take the best. The best entries are going to be the base of the candle. The fifty percent. But the wick counts too, because you can see, boom, boom, right there, hit. <clears throat> Could have got 60 pips. See what you're, if you had a pending order here, stop here, 30. Look, that's two to one right there. So it's easy money, guys. Triple arrows, see if this hits. Boom, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Now, this is a good example um, pay attention real quick. So you got 20 pips. So you got the triple arrows here. Draw it on the base. 20. You could have actually two to one. That's pretty solid. Two to one. Okay. The first touch, this is what I want to point out. The first touch is always going to be the most powerful, um, and the highest win rate. Second touch, you know, it's it's kind of think about like 
kind of like breaking down a wall with a sledgehammer, right? The more times you hit that wall with that sledgehammer, one of the times is probably going to break. So the more you hit it, <clears throat> the more apt it is to break. And I just swallowed an ice cube, I apologize. I'm trying to drink my iced coffee and I just got a huge ice cube in my mouth. So excuse me. Let's see if we can find some other ones real quick. But again, this is a really easy system. Um, great for beginners and great for anybody that's just struggling to trade with consistency because it kind of eliminates a lot of the guesswork, right? You just wait for the triple arrows, look for the last push down, last push up. Boom, and you're taking entries here. Boom, plenty of opportunities to get in this trade, right? Let's go for over 100 pips. And just stick with one-to-one -one right now. Stick with one-to-one -one until you get the hang of it, and then, then you could put uh, two-to-one trades on. Right, get the hang of it. Look, triple arrows, come down to the last push up, or push down, I mean, apologize. Boom, look at that. You have, in these trades, it's very one, two, there's your triple arrows, there's your trade. Look out, there's like no drawdown. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than this. And like I said, this does work on any time frame. So if you're trading full time, a lot of you guys are at home now, which have, you have plenty of time, but you could jump up to the four hour and you can see this works on the four hour as well. Last push, triple arrows, last push down. This is one where I was talking about this. It's a huge candle. But look, still plenty of opportunity to grab entries here, 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 and go up. So it works, last push down. Look, triple arrows fires here on this candle. So you can get it right there, boom. Chaparral is on that candle. This is like really right there. You could just enter, but you could have waited to the pullback, which was the next candle. <laughs> you just put your stop here, 180. Again, you would have got one to one. Boom. So this works great, especially if you're trading. Um, if you have to go to work, right? If you're an essential employee and uh, made the best with you, and obviously glad you're out there supporting everybody. Um, but do this on the four hour too, this is great. Uh, you're gonna hold the trades obviously a little bit longer, uh, but some of them fire real quick. I mean, you're in and out, same same day. So stick with the one-to-one. -one. But again, if you have any questions, um, leave a comment. Hit me up on uh, Facebook. I'll drop the Facebook group in here. And then I'll also drop a link if you wanna get this triple arrow system. Uh, just be a recommended link. Go click on it, go get the system. You can start trading this week. And uh, talk to you guys later.